Hi everyone. It is what? Friday, December 5th. And I am enjoying a an outdoor day here. It's beautiful weather, blue skies. Activities in the skies. Looks like maybe some meteor showers or something. But it's a beautiful day. I hope and pray that you are well where you are. Comment below. Let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. And if you need prayers, okay? So I wanted to do a video and talk about a couple of things. I wanted to do updates on a couple of signs that are gonna be occurring in the skies this December. And I wanted to quickly share some info about the concoctions that they're rushing out this month for the entire human population. I want to share a viewpoint from another medical doctor and talk about that because we have to stay on top of things. Okay, so to start, I have just a feeling inside of me that December is just going to be a big month. I have a strong spiritual feeling. It may even be the official beginning of the three and a half year um, tribulation. There are a couple of major signs occurring in the skies this month. There's going to be an eclipse, a solar eclipse. I don't think it'll be seen in North America. Uh, look it up. It's going to be on December 14th. So that's going to be a complete solar eclipse over some countries and areas. And then I think it's the 21st. Supposedly some 800, once an 800 year event is occurring in the skies. Um, it's described, I think it's Jupiter and Saturn coming very close together to the point where they look like one star. So, frankly speaking, I think that's code language for another big event. I don't know what that means, but all I know is they're saying we're going to see big things in the skies and there are big signs in the heavens happening. <sighs> um, you might want to take a look at Jacob Israel's video where he talked about this eclipse occurring halfway between an eclipse that began three and a half years ago and one that's going to happen in another three and a half years. So he was saying this might be, there's so many signs it might be the beginning of the period of Jacob's trouble or the great tribulation. I just, I have a strong feeling that it's going to be a major month and we just, we just all need to be very, very close to God, prayed up spirit filled under the shadow of his wings and if you don't have a relationship right now with God if you don't have peace Jesus Christ is the way he's the Messiah the Savior you're going to ask him into your life into your heart and um, read the scriptures and follow him you need to be baptized by water and by the Holy Spirit but mostly the baptism of the Holy Spirit and with fire is the important thing. Okay, so on to the final topic I wanted to talk about. You know, they're rolling out this mixture really quickly. I mean, every day there's a new article on what they're putting out and who should get this mixture first and, you know, how everybody needs to take this. Um, if you're staying on top of things, you probably have heard that there will be some tracking behind this. So we know this is a way to begin to have more tracking and tracing of everyone because everyone that gets this, this thing is going to need a second dose of this thing. And that's the excuse for having to track everyone. So everyone's going to be in this big tracking system. In fact, if you look it up on the internet, I think they're using something called... Um, a Tiberius app to track everyone. That's the plan. You need to look up who is Tiberius. And you might get a hint about what's going on. Um, let's see. So there's going to be tracking with this stuff that's coming out. Major tracking of everyone. You know, that's part of the beast system. We know that it has RNA and DNA technology. It's a novel technology, hasn't been used before, and here they are ready to push this junk, push this stuff out on, on everybody after like two months of testing. Okay, this is sinister, what's happening here. 
big signs of something majorly wrong in front of us. Um, what was that? So DNA altering and tracking and then it could be made from fetus cells. We don't know what kind of toxins are in there and they're pushing this out. Anyway, I wanted to share also an article that was written by a doctor who is speaking with a voice of dissidence during this time. You know, everything's being censored. You can't even speak against it or speak up about it. But he had some things to say about what's happening right now. So I'm gonna put the link below in the video and I'm just going to read you an excerpt from the article, okay? The article is called Former Pfizer Science Officer Reveals Great COVID-19 Scam. It's written by Dr. Joseph Mercola. Okay? So I'm just going to read um, I'm just going to read just a little excerpt here. Okay, so here's what this doctor is saying. There's a guy named Dr. Yaden who used to work for Pfizer, I think. So here's what he said. He said, it's an appalling dot, dot, dot public platform to suggest that the only way to get our lives back to get our lives back is to mass vaccinate the population. Something very smelly is going on. It's simply not appropriate. I don't even think it would work. So this is from, in an open letter to the British health minister, Yeadon wrote, the guy writing this is Yeadon, excuse me, the doctor is commenting in the article, is named Yeadon. He wrote, I have read the consultation document. I've rarely been as shocked and upset. All vaccines against the SARS-CoV-2 virus are by definition novel, they're new. No candidate vaccine has been in development for more than a few months. If any such vaccine is approved for use under any circumstances that are not explicitly experimental, I believe that the recipients are being misled to a criminal extent. This is because there are precisely zero human volunteers for whom there could possibly be more than a few months past dose safety information. My concern does not arise because I have negative views about vaccines. I don't. Instead, it's the very principle that politicians seem ready to waive that new medical interventions at this incomplete state of development should not be made available to subjects on anything other than an ex explicitly experimental basis. That's my concern. So I'm going to I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to put this article. Please read it and inform yourself. And please have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.